Well, Mickey, you guys go through a pretty extensive process. You end up with Dennis Allen. Just why Dennis Allen? Yeah, look, uh, first of all, I, I can't even begin to explain how magnificent the other uh, candidates, every one of them were. They each um, had some really special qualities. At the end of the day, though, part of it has to do with where we are as a franchise. You know, we're not, we're, you know, we're not in a situation where we have to ho have wholesale changes in order to, you know, to be successful. And so I felt like, we felt like, it was important that the institutional knowledge, someone that had been part of this process, you know, that ultimately ended up being one of the uh, uh, difference makers. And look, we, you know, again, I, I mentioned uh, a few moments ago about, you know, Dennis had a six and a half hour interview, but he's really been interviewing for 12 of the last 16 years. And so I think we just knew more about what we were getting, you know, exactly what we were getting and, and uh, what we're getting is pretty magnificent. What kind of growth did you see in him over that 16 year period? Yeah, boy, it's, it's um, you know, a lot because he came here as a D-line assistant and I, you know, when he left, he was a secondary coach that was getting an opportunity to be a coordinator. And, you know, we hated it when he left because we just seen him grow into being a really brilliant defensive mind and a guy that um, could command a room and, and lead a group of players. And so we hated it when he left. And I would say we were beyond excited when he returned back, you know, in 2015. I think some people ask about, you know, Dennis' personnel um, input, and I saw yeah. you nodding your head yes. Yeah. You know, how important is that for the head coach to be able to, to have that confidence uh, with the general manager that, yeah. you know, might say means something? Well, I, I've always felt like um, having your coaches involved in personnel decisions is, is a really critical element of being successful because, look, we want – we want uh, everyone's opinion uh, in the football operation, number one. But secondly, coaches are the guys that are, that are on the field. They understand what they need to have to be successful. And they have to be able to communicate that to the personnel department. And we have to listen um, and provide them with the tools and the players they need to be successful. And I also think, look, when they have a chance to, to have a say in the process, then they've got, you know, skin in the game. And so they're going to make sure that uh, the players that we bring in, that they help bring in, are going to be successful. And, and uh, I, I've always felt like it's an important part of the process. 